Carissima Regina, come va il regno? Two women who are jostling to be the favourite of the Queen, but the stakes are uh, beyond just being the Queen's best friend. It means that you have immense power. Uh, you, you, you're the keeper of the privy purse. So you're literally a, like Chancellor of the Exchequer. You know, you're in charge of the whole, um, the, the, the finances of the country. You could send the army to war. Um, it, it doesn't get more powerful or high stakes um, than I think this film. But also they're vulnerable and needy and they have sexual needs and they have emotional needs and uh, dietary needs if it's the queen. Um, and so, yeah, they're very human and very flawed and very complex. Dira! <gasps> Dira! Sembrate un tasso. I think what's very different from most historical dramas is the, the movement through different tones. There'll be a moment of intense pathos and tragedy and then it will move to something very absurd and ridiculous and uh, funny and comedic. Um, so it's, it's a very exciting film to watch and it was incredibly exciting to make because at one moment you'd feel like you're in a historical drama and the next you'd feel like you're in a slapstick comedy. And um, yeah, so it was, it was, uh, I was definitely felt very stretched as an actor. It was really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Vostra maestà. Fatemi ascoltare la musica. For people who aren't actors, it's going to sound really strange, but we played sort of absurd games, kind of like the games kids would play at school to to learn each other's names and learn each other's lines and learn um, learn to be absolutely ridiculous in front of one one another. So probably like comedy, act and react. Um, improvisation games so by I would say by the end of the three weeks there was nothing that we could do that would feel embarrassing right all the time we were very comfortable with being silly or absurd or, or ridiculous and people are ridiculous and why would a queen not be ridiculous in private or in public um, ridiculousness can happen anywhere è una follia Una signora ogni tanto vuole divertirsi. He's not shy about really delving into the depths of what it is to be a human and, and what it is to be a human who wants to be loved or it loves. And it's really unlike um, anyone else. I think he has his own vocabulary, his own grammar that he creates, and he's highly imaginative. And, and he's also a kind of breath of fresh air because he doesn't ever really talk about it. Uh, so if he heard me say all this, he would probably just laugh. Um, which is very charming. 